Hello Righteous, welcome to 365 Days of the Righteous, Day 9. My name is Goke Odi. 2 Chronicles 12, 6 says, So the leaders of Israel and the king humbled themselves, and they said, The Lord is righteous. Now when the Lord saw that they humbled themselves, the word of the Lord came to Shemaiah, saying, and I, I will stop there. Now there's a sweet connection between righteousness and humility. The leaders of Israel humbled themselves and the proof of their humility was acknowledging that the Lord is righteous. Anything that makes its way into the Bible is very important. There are no um, useless information at all in the Bible, including this one. That what happened when they humbled themselves and acknowledged that the Lord is righteous is that the word of the Lord came to Shemaiah, saying, now, do you know that one of the expressions of God's righteousness is in making those who believe righteous? Romans 3, 25 to 26 reads, For God presented Jesus as a sacrifice for sin. People are made right with God when they believe that Jesus sacrificed his life, shedding his blood. This sacrifice shows that God was being fair when he held back and did not punish those who sinned in times past. For he was looking ahead and including them in what he will do in this present time. God did this to demonstrate his righteousness. For he himself is fair and just and he makes sinners right in his sight when they believe in Jesus. Now the making of sinners right in his sight is a demonstration of God's righteousness. When you begin to humble yourself to acknowledge God's righteousness in making you righteous, just because you believe, not because of your performance, you open the doors of revelation. When the Lord saw that they humbled themselves, the word of the Lord came. That's what we read. Now Romans 3, 27 to 28 reads, Can we boast then that we have done anything to be accepted by God? No, because our acquittal is not based on obeying the law. It is based on faith. So we are made right with God through faith and not by obeying the law. It takes humility for you to recognize that you could never do anything to qualify for God's acceptance. And, you know, just being in the position of receiving his grace, his undeserved favor, unmerited favor. Now, Romans 5.17 tells us that those of us who receive God's abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness will reign on this earth by the one Jesus Christ. James 4.6 says, And he gives grace generously, as the scriptures say, God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Your humility is shown by your acknowledgement of the Lord's righteousness in making you righteous because you believe, puts you in a place where you enjoy the grace of God. And as we saw today, you can expect to hear from him. Psalm 25 verse 9 says, He leads the humble in doing right, teaching them his way. It's a great blessing to hear from God and be taught his ways. This is for the people who humble themselves. And, and we have seen today that one of the ways we show our humility is expressed in acknowledging the righteousness of God and making, in making us righteous. Now, just because we believe, not because of anything we can do to deserve it. Now, go your way today just being thankful that God demonstrates his righteousness in making you righteous and just, just be in the place of actively receiving from him. I want to thank you very much for joining me on this 365 days of the righteous journey. We're on day nine today. It's been a, this journey has been a blessing to me and I pray that it's a blessing to you too.